with less than a mile to go in this race, Todd Bodine, four truck links in front of Ted Musgrave. Fourth start for the Jermaine Arnold Toyota, and it looks like maybe victory number one. Coming through three and four, smoke problems in front of him, and Todd Bodine and Ted Musgrave both miss Kelly Sutton, and it will be Todd Bodine claiming his first ever victory in the truck series. Forty-nine one thousandth of a second is the margin between first and second, but the first big win for Todd Bodine. as he's put almost a second between himself and Johnny Benson as he works his way through three and four. Todd Bodine is looking to make it two in a row in the Toyota number 30. Bodine wins at Texas. Another great performance by the Jermaine Arnold Motorsports team. Terrific job for Todd Bodine, Mike Hillman, all those guys. What a great run. That makes four top fives out of five events, two wins. Incredible job for this Toyota team. Down the back stretch they go. Todd Bodine out in front of the field. Just behind him, Todd Cleaver, David Rudiman, Mike Skinner. As they come out of turns three and four, nobody has anything for Todd Bodine. He will come to the start finish line, the winner of the O'Reilly Auto Parts 250. Well, I think Toyota broke their losing streak in style. Todd Bodine first, David Rudiman third, Mike Skinner fourth, and Bill Luster, career best fifth. Four Toyotas in the top five. That was a good day for them. Skinner almost got Rudiman on the last lap. Bodine with the powerful truck tonight has taken over the lead as they go down the back stretch. Now just three and four separate Todd Bodine from the checkered flag. And as he comes out of turn four, Todd Bodine will win the Las Vegas 350. Side by side for third. Looks like David Starr got third. We got a spin on the front stretch right here coming to the checkered flag, guys. Chad Chapman spinning across the infield. But how about Jack Sprague after drilling the wall, sparks flying from underneath that truck, battling back He's side by side with give. David Starr. That was a great battle for the third position, but how about Todd Bodine here? He was able to get by Ted Musgrave. He's just looking to make it back home, Bill. He knows he's won himself another race. Mile and a half tracks have been extremely good to Todd Bodine in 2005. He won in Kansas earlier this year. He also won in Las Vegas, and he will win in Texas again. <laughs> you don't know how hard it is to win one of these things until you've been down there. Give it a try, huh, Phil? Yeah, what a that, great job Todd Bardine and, and his entire team has done. They've finished first and second like five or six times in the last ten races. Oh, there they go, off turn two. We've got a problem Twelve. down the back stretch. Seven, Joey five. Bell, check up, check David check Starr, up. the caution is going to come out. It will be official. Todd Bodine in front of Jack Sprague. There goes Dennis Sessor and Ted Musgrave right there. As he comes across the start finish line, Todd Bodine wins the Ford 200 at Homestead, Miami. And with that, Ted Musgrave job, is the 2005 the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series yeah. champion. It's Todd Bodine with the lead. Now, Johnny Benson making the pass on the inside. He'll second from Mark Martin. He sets his sights on the 30, but the 30 has checked out. Spin, oh, got spin behind him. As they spin, it is going to be Todd Bodine going across the start finish line, winning in 2006. They crashed behind him. You are the man! Oh, look at this. They're still crashing, Rick. I mean, even off four still. They were slowing down. Truck stopped on the front stretch. There's Steve Park, had a good run. He found himself a lap down, late in the going. Brendan gone with problems in that 77. We'll have to sort all this out. You are the man. That was Mike Hillman Sr. talking to his driver. 
A second, a, a second a, and a first so far for Todd Bodine. Todd Bodine, Ted Musgrave. Ted Musgrave called this earlier. He said, I'd love to see a first second finish. We have problems on the back stretch. If the caution flag flies, that will end the race. Scott Legacy Jr. We oh, just well, talked that's about just him. Horrible. No caution flag. No caution flag flies. The checkered flies. Todd Bodine wins the Dodge Dealers Ram Tough 200. What a great job by Jermaine Racing once again. One two finish. Todd Bodine, second one of the year. Ted Musgrave, second for the second race in a row. The celebration taking place. And that's one and two from the same team, Jermaine Racing with Todd Bodine and Ted Musgrave, their team celebrating together. Front of Mike Skinner. What a great power move by Todd Bodine on the outside. Remember, he was a lap down in this race. Here comes Mike Skinner. Don't count him out as they come out of four. Skinner on the inside. Bodine on the outside. Bodine closes the door. Bodine wins for the third time in Texas. Skinner too. Man, what a great finish in the Craftsman Truck Series. Bodine looks down to the low side of the track again. He doesn't want to give Mike Skinner any type of a draft. As they work their way through three and four, does Skinner have half enough? Out of turn number four, Todd Bodine sees the checkered flag. Bodine will win the Samstown 400. Fourth win at Texas in the last six races for Todd Bodine and that Lumber Liquidators Toyota. What an unbelievable finish. One more time for Todd Bodine and Mike Skinner here at Texas Motor Speedway. What's Rick Crawford going to do? He's right now in second. Todd Bodine's our leader. Crawford is going to wait till the last minute, it looks like. Still single file through turn number three. Rick's going to move up, try to get a little momentum. He needs to create a little bit of a gap to get some momentum. This is it. Will Johnny Benson give Rick Crawford any help as they come through turn four into the trial? they go. It's Todd Bodine. Now Johnny Benson looks to the outside. Here comes Rick Crawford He's as he goes to the outside. It's Crawford on the outside. Bodine! Oh. And they go across the start finish line. Bodine by 14 one thousandths of a second in front of Crawford. What a great finish. It almost looked like they may have waited too long. He got oh so close. Johnny Benson moved to the inside. They do not like to cross the start finish line one and two wide on the super speedway. Yeah, Three wide is the way to go. Todd Bodine continuing to lead the pack. It's just a matter of time. You can see Kyle Busch all Contact. over the back bumper. Jerry Crocker moved to the inside to avoid it. A big run by Todd Bodine. Can Kyle Bush Bradley catch him? The 51 coming to the checkers. The 51 laid back off of him, Phil. Here's the run that he's looking for. Johnny Bush and Vincent's going to push. They're going to be the inside. Inside. To the outside goes Kyle Bush, but it's Todd Bodine crossing the start finish line in front of Kyle Bush and Johnny Benson. <laughs> They did a great job. They sure did. They held off Kyle Busch, who had four fresh tires. Todd only got two on his pit stop. Colin Brown now has the nose. Oh, there it goes. The problems there behind them, and this will end the race. Who's in front? The caution is out yet. This is all behind the pack. Maybe the caution hasn't flown. No they, caution. They still haven't thrown the caution. Kyle Busch is in front of Todd Bodine. Colin Brown hung out on the outside. Can he get help from TJ Bell in time? Coming out of turn number four. Now Todd Bodine moves to the outside. Bodine makes the run. They go through the trial. Can Kyle Busch get to him? Here Todd comes. Bodine and Kyle Busch. It's Todd Bodine at the line. He'll win again. And TJ Bell into the outside wall. Comes across the line eight into the outside wall. How about Todd Bodine winning the last three super speed white races? He was able to get Kyle Busch sideways off turn four, and that broke Kyle Busch's momentum. He jumped to the outside. Hey, remember Atlanta, Ryan Newman passed.
past Ron Harvick for the lead. Cost him 15 seconds, points. Piece of cake. Johnny wow. Benson currently running in the sixth spot. Could that be enough for a championship? Coming out of turn number four, it's going to be Todd Bodine winning the race. And Johnny Benson will win the championship. Buddy, you are the man. You are the man. Good job, buddy. Wow. What a race! What a finish! Well, today, King within a bumper of Johnny Benson and a championship. There's Johnny's wife, Debbie, right there. Trip Bruce is saying, "Did we win or did we not win?" Trust us, Trip. You won. Trip Bruce, okay, you guys, are a championship everything. crew chief. Yeah. Fitzpatrick out there in the seven. Looks like he's going to try to fall back in line, though, just in front of Taylor Molson. One of days peeking to the outside. He tucks back in. Who's going to make the move? Right now, the 51 of Kyle Busch all over the back bumper. He moves to the outside. Looks like he gets loose. Drops back just a bit. Now as they work their way, coming out of turn number four. A huge on, lead for good. Todd Bodine. It Can isn't enough. catch him? It isn't enough, is it? Todd Bodine is going to be able to hold up the pack. He'll win again at Daytona. Go, Wow, what a job by Todd Bodine. We two said in a row, baby. Todd said two in a row. I believe it's four in a row for Todd Bodine. Two in a row right here at this racetrack. Daytona International Speedway, a name synonymous with NASCAR. The Bodines got their first victory with Todd job, Bodine boy. a year ago at this racetrack, and he does it again in the truck series. Cruising down the backstretch. He knows he has just about a second and a half over Matt Crafton. Trying to hold on once again, breaking the bad luck streak that they've had in the 2009 season. Todd Bodine will win at Texas again. Five times for Bodine. Great run for Matt Crafton on the runner up finish with, with Ron Hornaday's problems. We could have Matt Crafton as our point leader. Unofficially, Matt Crafton has taken over the top spot from Ron Hornaday. But what a run for Matt Crafton. What a great run for Todd Bodine. Colin Brown with a third place finish today. And Dylan on the inside of Mike Skinner trying to grab that spot. Skinner tries to crowd him down. Austin Dillon on the inside. Skinner on the outside. Kenny Schrader behind him watching. Coming out of turn number four, the 30 of Todd Bodine wins six hey, times guys, at Texas. You guys are the shit, baby. Woo! How about it? And Mike Di uh, Austin Dillon gets <laughs> Mike him. Skinner at the line. Wow. By four one thousandths of a second for third for a career best. The Hornaday new driver drops all the way back to ninth. I oh. told you they had a run going down into turn three. It was such a run. Hornaday about spun out. They were going so fast. <laughs> But when you talk about trophies, Nashville Super Speedway winning at this racetrack has one of the most impressive. A Sam Bass decorated Gibson guitar goes to the winner. And that tonight will be Todd Bodine winning at Nashville Super Speedway. Never give up. Great job, boys. Love y'all. Proud. Proud just to be part of this team. Man, that's it. Never give up. Keep digging. We just keep doing this. Get us a little guitar. You heard Todd Bodine say guitar lessons. <laughs> Look at that, how much he's moving in. Todd did a nice job of getting by David Starr. If he would have had to follow him till he got off of two, it would have been trouble. The final turn. Todd Bodine comes out of turn number four. He'll go back to back in the Camping World Truck Series. Back to victory lane. Experience pays Everybody, off tonight I'm at Darlington. Imagine that. I just had a feeling it might. But, but Here, Timothy, boys, I'm proud of you. Way to work your butts off. No burnout, dude. Chicago motor. <laughs> there you go. No burnout, dude. How, how impressive was Timothy Peters? So came here, did the tire test, never had raced here before, sat on the pole and finished second. Well, he doesn't look as though he's slowing down. Can he make it? Another half lap at Kentucky. So good on the mile and a half racetracks, but he has never won at this racetrack. Coming through three and four and out of four. Todd Bodine's going to win at Kentucky. I tell you, he had a great truck, but that truck was maybe won by that pit call by Mike Hillman Jr. This race was won by him coming in on lap number 92 and rolling the dice. 
said that what Rick Gay has done with this truck as far as aero and everything puts them as the favorite at Texas, and now it is official that Todd Bodine has won the race here in Dover, Delaware. Todd Bodine, victorious for Red Horse Racing in truck number 11. A fifth, a third, and now a first. That makes him hot toddy. <laughs> yes, it does. He likes odd numbers. And another win. After going winless last year, in the Camping World Truck Series. Win number 22 for Todd Bodine. This one happens on a rain-shortened race at Bodine. Dover International Speedway. And he's working diligently to get the helmet off, get the hey. seat belts unstrapped That's so he can climb out and celebrate this That's win. All right. Good job, bud.